Good journey, everybody. Welcome back to Ordinary Adventures. We're back on the Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser. Last time we were here, we were part of the Resistance. This time, we're taking a new allegiance. Yeah, we're gonna be part of the First Order. We're gonna see what we could get up to, see what's different about our experience the first time. We're gonna try to become best friends with Lieutenant Coy. Yeah, <laughs> how does the adventure change when you're part of the First Order? Come with us on this adventure. On this First Order adventure. time to discuss your journey? Yes. So tell me, what brings you to our treasured ship? I'm part of the Empire. <laughs> oh no. Uh, you, yes. So, you're <laughs> here to help the First Order? Yeah. Yes. Don't tell anyone. I see. That's a choice. Now, <laughs> did you bring any Dianoga eggs with you on board? Yes. 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 I'm so pleased we found you. We found the eggs unattended in the hydro lift and wondered where they came from. I'll move them to containment for our voyage. Yes, that is disturbing, but I'm with a passenger. Panicking won't solve anything, and you watch your language. Oh dear, you don't understand binary, do you? No. Well, that's a relief. Although, I suppose there's no use hiding what's happening. The Halcyon is being investigated by the First Order. My colleague is worried they might cause problems for us. But I'm not worried. Are you? No. Muster truly is a favorite. Captain Keevan assembles everyone, welcomes them to the Halcyon, and then shares important logistical information about our voyage. Oh. It's quite moving. I always make a point of attending because, oh, blast it! The Dianoga eggs. <laughs> I need to move them to secure containment, so I'll miss muster today. Will Aww. you come back and let me know what you think of it? Yes. Yes. Since you mentioned the First Order, huh? you may be interested to know that we have an Imperial Era brig on board. Of course we don't use it, but it may be the perfect place for you to visit given your inclination. So, unless there's anything else, I'll let you get started exploring the ship. Didn't see you there. <laughs> we changed. Yeah. We're dark side. We're <laughs> first order, but I have my, my rose necklace, so, you know, we're not fully committed to the idea, but we're gonna test it out. How do I look? You look freaking cool. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be fun. It is. <laughs> While we were at lunch, I got a message from the cruise director, Lanka Mock, and she, we had a conversation, basically came down to her asking where my allegiance lies. And this time, I'm picking the first door. <laughs> Let's see where the stakes is. So right outside the brig, there is one of those droid interfaces. I feel like there's a word for it, I'm missing. Terminal? Droid terminal? <laughs> Why does it keep on blinking like that? Almost like it wants us to go into the brig. <laughs> I just love your outfit, Peter. It looks really good. I love your outfit. Thank you. We're a power duo. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Supplies 
A star cruiser filled with passengers from anywhere. If you resist, there will be consequences. Lieutenant, whatever it is you are looking for, I am sure you will not find it here. Our muster drill was interrupted by the first order. And it was actually kind of cool. If you look out those side windows, we actually saw the Imperial shuttle make its way to dock aboard the Halcyon. Didn't notice that before. Lieutenant Croy said that either you're with the first order or you're against the first order. I think this time we're with the first order. So let's go find him. You might say we're for the order. Yes. But let's let's go find him and tell him that we're we have his back. For the order. For the order. We just want yes. to become a. Oh, we're talking about at uh, the menu. Oh, yeah. Oh, good. The menu. Yeah. Make sure you enjoy uh, the uh, delights from Lucifer. Oh, yeah. Oh, too smoky. Too smoky. We're, we're hall scanning everything. We're we're trying to help you conduct your investigation. Will this uh, help you live presently? Yes. Good, because I want to make sure that we have an eye spoken. Do you understand? Yeah. I'm getting a an energy. Yeah. That, There's that something's a little weird. Going we can on help here. each other. Yes. Yeah. But we just want to tell you that we're, we're for the order. Yeah, we're for the It's clear. Yeah. It is very clear. <laughs> for the order. Yes. Now, don't, uh, don't let on. We're all here to enjoy ourselves, correct? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. yes. Keep your eye on the cruise director. You told me to keep, keep my eye on the cruise director. <laughs> yeah, I think something's up with her. I think we made the right choice this year. I just opened up my data pad and looky looky here. Look who sent me a message. <laughs> Lieutenant Croy. Let's see what he's got to say. Okay, my investigations of resistance activity have led me onto the ship. I'm prepared to look deeper and find concrete evidence of res resistance activity on board the Halcyon. What should I say? What are my orders? Or I'm pretty sure there's uh, this what is. What are my orders? <laughs> okay. That's what I like to hear. My intelligence reveals resistance activity to the ship ports of call. I suspect there is proof of this in the ship's restricted systems. I am listing you temporarily to assist in obtaining this data. Okay, it says locate a nearby ship console and tap my data my data band. Okay, let's go do that. Lieutenant Croy, actually love your outfit. Thank you. I just I could like oh, wow. I mean, you're gonna win the fashion show. <laughs> One can only hope. We'll cheer for you. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> so Lieutenant Croy contacted me on my data pad. He basically was asking if I could help him out. I of course said for the order. I said yes, my man. So now he's having us tap into one of these terminals. Terminals. You gotta use your data band to tap in. We did that. Now what? Oh, he said, well done. <laughs> so, doing great so far. Yeah. Assessing this data to identify any unscheduled detours along past routes. And I will analyze the data to see if it matches with my research. Look for the ports of call, scan it for any anomalies, and download them from the ship console. Oh my god, I unlocked something. Oh wow, looks like, uh, looks like there's a few there. So I'm going to download the detours to my data pad. I'm going to transfer the records. Your ship log, you have access to all, you have all these planets now. Okay. In your profile. So that's what you just downloaded. Oh. What other planets do? They're just all the records, so they might come into play later. I don't know if you oh. click on them, you can see like the detail about the planet. Oh, okay. Is there anything I can do to help you guys? Hold on. Why don't you help us out? We think the resistance has spies here. If you spot one, Okay, I will do. Carry on. Have you seen resistance fighters in this area? I think they're all over the ship, to be honest with you. I think the captain's in on it. I wouldn't be a... Maybe even the cruise director. Looks like we'll need recon in this sector. Affirmative. Loyalty to the First Order is appreciated. For the order. And now we'd like to thank StoryWorth for sponsoring today's video. After our first trip to the Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser, we were hunkered down in an Orlando hotel editing those videos. 
our friend Reza told us about this fantastic gift his wife Molly got for his parents. And somehow, days later, StoryWorth contacted us asking if they could sponsor one of our videos. StoryWorth helps you and your loved ones connect through sharing stories and memories and preserving them for years to come. Every week, StoryWorth emails your loved ones a thought-provoking question. Questions like you've never thought of, like, what's the best advice your mother gave you? Or if we were to do this all over again, what would you do differently? Every week you get sent their answer to those questions. And through that, you'll discover stories and memories you've never heard about. And I think the best thing is, is after a year, StoryWorth compiles all of those questions and stories, including photos, into a beautiful keepsake book for your family to share for generations. I'm getting the gift of StoryWorth for my father. Kitra has already ordered one for her grandfather. It's a perfect gift for Mother's Day, which is coming up. So if you're looking for something special for your mother, this is worth considering. So head on over to storyworth.com slash ordinary adventures and you could save $10 on your first purchase. The link is in the description down below. And now back to the video. So Wraith Cole reached out to me, get me to do something with Coaxium and I said, I'm not going to work for you. I'm going to report you to the first order. And all of a sudden he had to go. Let's see what happens. <laughs> the captain has the brief. Thank you, watch. And thank you. And thank you. No, I understand. These are coordinates. This isn't a message. This is a location. Captain, you would have a very narrow window to travel and return. Well, how much time are we talking, Watch? You know what? Never mind. Understood. Thank you. I have also committed myself to a different cause. You understand service. So do I. And this message has been sent to me by individuals in a movement that are quite literally risking their lives right now, even as we speak. I understand what I am asking. I would not ordinarily interrupt shipboard activities. However, there are literally lives at stake, and I need your help. Will you help me, officer? Yes. Will you help me, officer? <laughs> if you find plausible, plausible deniability better, I will allow you to leave the bridge. Thank you very much. Everyone else, can I trust you? Yes. 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 Thank you. All right, everyone, making the jump to hyperspace in three, two, one. <laughs> Captain, incoming transmission from the pod. All right. The this is Captain Riola Keaton, Commander of the Chewbacca. I have sent him here to make sure that all things are balanced with Lieutenant Troy. However, I will not allow squabbles aboard this ship. So, Chewbacca, we will hide you and you will not cause any problems. Do you understand? Thank you. Yes, it is good to see you, old friend. We will send the letters to bring you in. We'll get you two by two. You have been so helpful thus far. Obviously, you have initiated a jump to hyperspace before. And I will bring you here because you know what you're doing. Right this way, my friend. So as you know, we will count back from three to one. I will make sure that you pull at that time. Thank you, Stephen, for your help uh, while you're off duty. All right. We just got done with bridge training and we ended up helping Chewbacca board the ship. I think we need to go find Lieutenant Croy and let him know. Chewie's up there. He's hiding behind one of the, the pillars. We're not supposed to hide you here. You're going to get arrested. Right. They're, they're, they're going to take you. They're the captain take you said, and lock you up. The captain said, uh, get you, out you, you can trust us though, You right? can trust us. So I've heard Lieutenant Croy is at dinner. So he's missing Chewbacca right now. We could have totally turned in this resistance traitor. I'm fine. I'm, 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 yes. I'm, I'm totally not with the First Order. There was a Wookiee that was snuck onto the ship. Yeah, we were trying to find you and Lieutenant Coy. We saw Chewbacca. Yeah. We've got a recon mission for you. 
Okay. And see one of those resistance traitors reported to us. Okay. Do not tell them we are here. Okay. We'll do. Thank you. For the order. Yes. <laughs> you wouldn't happen to know where Lieutenant Croy is. I make it a point to avoid him at all costs. I just had to get an urgent message to him. Oh. Well, I'm going to do my best not to help you with that. <laughs> I just got contacted by Captain Keevan on my data pad. She wants me to help keep Chewbacca secret. I told her I can't do that. I'm going <laughs> to I'm going to tell the first order that he's on. <gasps> Uh oh. And then she says, of course, I cannot ask you to put yourself at risk. I understand prior prioritizing your safety, it is the highest concern. Hmm. She was very understanding of her choice. I don't think she's happy. Uh oh. This is my jam right here. from Lieutenant Croy and he says he thinks it's clear that the resistance is a part of this crew. I think that's true as well. And he says that they must we must detain SK620 and extract the details of whoever is involved. So we're gonna meet him in the atrium tonight and we'll make an example out of that. So one cool thing is on your profile in the data pad app it shows who you have relationships with. So right now the lieutenant our relationship is uh, the trust is high, <laughs> but Sammy, it's neutral. <laughs> 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 
what, what's up? <laughs> Chewbacca escaped from the brig and ran to the launch pad. I tried to get the attention of the First Order, but no First Order stormtroopers. Lieutenant Croy could be could be found nowhere. So I, I don't know. I feel like the First Order is failing me at this point. I'm trying to help them. But I'm not sure. I mean, they had me go onto one of those terminals, but I haven't really been able to do anything for them yet. But I'm guessing that's going to change tonight. To bring us all together to celebrate our historic trip to Batu. I know that you win at pay 620 Our resistance sympathizes. You have no proof of that. You have made your feelings clear since my arrival. Still have no proof that SK has done anything wrong. It's not what the droid has done, it's what it knows. We will use a restraining boat to disable it. <laughs> And I will find out what it knows. SK unit! You are suspected of assisting the resistance. I am placing you in the custody of the First Order. Croy! Do it! Do it! Do it! Do it! Do it! Do it! Don't do that! I don't have to worry about hidden activities with this visual reminder in place. The well, evening, I... thank you, I will. <laughs> <laughs> so tired of getting a scuffle day. <laughs> Enjoy this evening's festivities, a big day tomorrow. Each and every one of you are our hope for tomorrow. Yes, we yeah. have. Because uh, uh, we could do this together. As, As one. one. As one. But I see in each and every one of you a star that can guide us through the galaxy. I want this one to be for Lieutenant Croy. Hmm? He will not stop that spark that will light that fire, yes? Here we are. Here's to new Gaia shows. Yes, new Gaia shows. To Batu Adventures. Woo! And to the many stars that will guide our way. To Buite! He has not won. This is only the beginning. Let's celebrate! Yes. For the order! <laughs> it's lost. <laughs> I think we're following the lieutenant. I just told him for the order and said follow me. Have your bands ready. We must be efficient. We must be brief. Shining blue, there we go. Well done. Next cadet. Right there. The resistance has changes on this ship. If you were one of the little... Razor. <laughs> It needs to be blue. One more time! Come on, Reza! Okay. Not working? No, and you know, now we'll try there delicate. We delicate style. Good. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, it's, what a shame! Oh. Our first order, uh, I mean, our, our saber trainings were not scheduled uh, correctly. Good evening. Yeah. <laughs> Sir, enjoy your evening. Okay, that was pretty cool. Us and two other people we got this game. Yeah, I wonder what we got. Oh, for the order. A young girl just walked by us and said, I hope there's crumbs in your bed tonight. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm going to be mad. eating all the snacks. Of course, it, she knows me. Right. That was cool. It was us and two other people yes. who got I'm, to do that. I'm happy to be on the right side of things. <laughs> History will show, right? I, uh, uh, yeah. You can't have chaos. You need some sort semblance of order. <laughs> what a water. So not only was that amazing because it was like just the two of us and two other people, but when Peter was trying to scan his magic band on the thing, he he wasn't able to do it at first. And Lieutenant Corey was like, "Come on, Reza, 
Come on. He like, he, like, he, like, remembered that you said that your cover-up name was Reza yeah. from the first time we were here. Like, that was so funny. What's your name? My, my name is Reza. Reza. Yeah. Be sure to remember that. Yeah. This is Reza. Oh, good evening. I'm so glad you called. I've been hearing terrible rumors about my friend, SK620. What happened? He was... They put a restraining bolt oh, on him. Oh dear, what do you know about the Imperial Era? It was a good time. <laughs> <laughs> Most people consider the Empire's rule to be one of the darkest times in galactic history. In fact, did you know that the Halcyon was once under the control of the Empire? No. It is a part of our history I'd rather forget. The Empire were awful masters. Do you know what they made droids do? No. They forced us all to serve the Empire. Instead of planning vacations, I was planning <laughs> troop transport schedules. <laughs> Not to mention I had to shine those silly white helmets day and night. If the First Order wins, do you think that could all happen again? Sure. Unfortunately, I think you're right. You, droids, pick up. We have questions. It's a First Order Stormtrooper. They'll bolt me next. Quick, give me an excuse why I can't talk to him. You have to tie your shoe. Oh, good idea. Sorry, I'm busy with a very, very important passenger. It's a uh, president. Yes, the president of space. Best journey. Nice try, droid. But I'd rather talk to your passenger anyway. What? My passenger? No, that's complete. You, passenger, are you the one in cabin 5222? <laughs> yes. Good. I have some questions from Lieutenant Croy. You answer them, and things will go smoothly for both of us. First question, allegiance. Are you loyal to the First Order, or are you resistant scum? I'm loyal to the First Order. I love their ships. I do love the sight of a TIE fighter on an attack run. Let's continue. <laughs> we are determining if it's necessary to bolt the logistics droid known as D-309. Is it true that this droid supports the resistance? It is not true. What? If she doesn't support the resistance, I think it's true. then tell me, what is her allegiance? To me. Her allegiance is with the First Order. I suppose if the droid is truly loyal, as you say, a bolt wouldn't be necessary. Very well. I'll move on. For the Order. For the Where Order. You gone? Did you just save me from a First Order stormtrooper? Yes. You were amazing. <laughs> I couldn't believe it when you tricked him into believing we were on his side. I've we never had a passenger take such a huge risk for me. I'm honored. We How are you feeling about what you did? Like a hero. You should be proud. You've inspired me. I hope you have a truly restorative sleep cycle. Best journey and good night. For the order. Good morning. We are now orbiting the exotic Outer Rim world of Batu. You know, I still can't get over how you tricked that stormtrooper into believing we were on his side. Thank you. <laughs> so, how was your sleep cycle? Very good. Wonderful. You'll need all your energy for your day at Blackspire Outpost. It's crucial that the First Order learns nothing of this. Captain Keevan needs you to deliver the coordinates for the Coaxium Heist to Hondo Anaka in Black Spire Outpost on Batu. Can you help? No. Understood. Enjoy your visit to Black Spire Outpost. Best journey. <laughs> <laughs> You're useless to me. We're not going to help Captain Keevan. We're here to help the First Order.
on the TV in your room. You can see a map of where we're traveling. Slept on the bed last night. It was actually more comfortable than you would think, but it's very firm. And I, for a second here, laid down on Kitra's bed, and it's so fluffy, so comfortable. Let it's, me be the judge of this, because I've been on the bunk for three nights now. Yeah. I know what comfortable I like that is. you called it Kitra's bed. <laughs> See how much more comfortable that is? No, this isn't the same. No, this is not at all. <laughs> the upper bunk specifically is way better than this is. How do you sleep on this what? cloudy comforter? It feels like sleeping on a cloud. No, this is not good, guys. If you want the clouds of Bespin, you I need to. I don't. I want the Millennium Falcon like bunk. Not this. <laughs> good. More room for me. I love how even the air conditioning vent has oh. the Death Star design on it. So, right there outside our window, you can see one of the shuttles coming up from Batu. Oh, that's so funny. So, the ship. So, there's Batu right there. And we're going to get on the shuttle and go down there and just. A few seconds. We're in disguise going down Batu with our civilian clothes. <laughs> we got off the shuttle in Batu, and the first mission that Lieutenant Croy had us take care of is the Thai Echelon. It seems like the resistance or someone's been trying to hack it. It has some new hyperspace technology. So we had to prevent that, disable that. So now that the now that we've done that, the resistance can't get a hold of the hyperspace track. Good job. Teamwork. So it's our second visit on the Galactic Star Cruiser to Batu, and I'm still not liking this data pad stuff, but at one point during this mission, I had to tell them that like the first order stormtroopers were gonna come out to protect the Thai Echelon. When I went back over there, they were out, and I was like, oh, maybe that's a coincidence. Maybe that's just like the time that the first order stormtroopers come out. And I went over there and I had to re, I had to install a like firewall to protect the, uh, the hyperspace technology that we were afraid of getting stolen. And once I did that, the Thai Echelon made a noise and the stormtroopers were like, we gotta go now and left. It could be a coincidence. I, I, I will completely admit that could be a complete coincidence, but if, if that was involved because of what I was doing on the story on the data pad, I'm liking a little bit more. We're now going on a recon mission for the First Order to investigate the resistance base on that too. They're up to something over here. BB-8, is everyone assembled? Good. Shouldn't you be in flight prep? Recruits, thank you for joining the cause. Red 2, Blue 5, report. Red 2, check. Blue 5 standing by. Engage repulses and hold on, recruits. As you heard from Gray, I have been tasked with getting you to Makara. Red 2, Blue 5, keep tight now. Let's get ready to make that jump to light speed on my mark. The Air Company, first order tight fighters. We're up, we're up. on the Halcyon, what did show? You got on the cruise ship. Oh. Not doing any real work. Like oh, so here. he's kind of a laughing stock around here. Yeah. <laughs> he likes a good vacation. Everybody likes to get it, you know, go away sometimes. I told him that we were helping Lieutenant Croy, and he's like, Lieutenant Croy, stationed on a cruise ship. He was basically <laughs> making fun of him. This time around, I was trying to see if the Halcyon could be seen when you're taking off from Batu in the transport or from the Star Destroyer, and you can't see it. So. Maybe eventually they'll add it in there. That'd be cool. Wasn't the Halcyon guests doing a board of resistance transport? We were sent by Lieutenant Croy to investigate the resistance base. So this is all a big misunderstanding because we were to report back to him and now we, we need to get back to our ship. Well, you're not getting back to that one. No, Who's not that one, to the Halcyon. You still have to go through the interrogation process. We'll see what Lieutenant Croy says about you. Hot. First order are a little rude. Why are we helping them again? <laughs> because this galaxy needs order. Okay. I can tell you like to hear yourself talk. <laughs> the file on the line. We were sent by Lieutenant Croy. That it's good that we captured Blue and red go in. <laughs> so 
Tell Cory that we're up here. I feel like nobody's believing us because we're not wearing our Sith okay. outfits like we were yesterday. Take the hallway over to the terminal list and head down to this to the Beckle Guardian. Recruits, for your safety, stay seated with seatbelts securely fastened. Keep hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the transport and supervise your children. The probe droid. You're lucky it didn't spot you. You're not authorized. Wait, it goes to the prisoner. <laughs> Coming onto a Halcyon Star Cruiser to disrupt a bunch of travelers just having a vacation? Come on! Who does that? And that is only part one of our first order adventure. Part two is coming next week. Things get crazy. Things get very different. You're not going to want to miss out on that. So please hit subscribe below. We want to say thank you to some of our Patreons. That includes Curtis Dudley, Keith Williams, Sean Robert, and Lisa Benet. Thank you guys so much. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you on the next adventure.